Hey guys, I'm thinking this thing lies. It says it's, uh, I don't know, 43 degrees. It's not 43 degrees, but it is nice. It's really nice out. It is super bright. Look at that sky. It's gorgeous. I don't think there's a cloud in the sky. Beautiful. But that sun, wow. That sun's killing my eyes. Look at that. Look at that thing. We are making power like crazy. Love it. Hope everybody's doing good today. I wanted to uh, just stop in and say hello. And let everybody know that we've decided that we're going to go live on Thursday nights at 7 o'clock. We're going to try to do it every week. Um, we have a lot of fun when we do it. It's going to be every other week. I'll be on by myself. And then the uh, other week, Scott will be on with me. And maybe even sometimes Scott will be on alone. I doubt it. He's, he's not, uh, he wouldn't probably do it, but alone. But maybe, you never know. Hey, crazy things happen. We joined TikTok. I, I don't even, I don't even know. Who knows? I figure it's just another avenue to get us out there. Uh, some different people that maybe don't watch YouTube or have Instagram or Facebook or uh, any of the other crazy things that are out there. I don't know. Who knows what I'm doing? Do I know? I'm left alone to my own devices. I have no idea. Um, anyway, <laughs> on that note, so uh, this Thursday, we're going to go live at 7 o'clock. And I think I've decided this Thursday, since Scott's going to be with me this week for the live, that I wanted to do um, a have you ever questions. You know, where you have the little signs and one side says never and the other side says I have or whatever. Uh, I thought it would be a fun game we could all play. You know, why not? So, um, we'll have the little signs. You guys can make up your own little signs. That's why I'm telling you ahead of time. If you want to make up your own little signs, you can. Obviously, we can't see them. But, why not? I mean, you can always type it in. Never or I have. These are going to be funny. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm going to try to find some funny questions. I don't really want... Uh, a bunch of dirty questions. There may be some something something slipped in there every once in a while, but I don't want anything too risque, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, so I thought I would let everybody know ahead of time if you're gonna come to the live on Thursday at seven on YouTube that we are going to play Have You Ever. So Scott doesn't even know yet. I'm gonna let him know later. And uh, he'll be like, oh, great, 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 great. He'll be totally thrilled. <laughs> um, anyway, and so obviously there's certain ones that we don't have to answer. But, um, you know, I thought it would be fun. there will be fun questions. So um, this is me trying to convince him. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. That's what he's going to say. So, yeah. Anyway, so just letting everybody know that. I was going to check for eggs in the little the little summer house that we have. We don't let the chickens in here in the wintertime. But they're getting in anyway. The little black chickens love it in here. Yeah, and there's an egg. I don't know if you guys can see. There's an egg way in there. I can't see anything out here. I'm, like, I'm blinded. I guess I should have worn my hat today because I get my hair pulled back and it's a little bit chilly I think when before I came out I looked it said 30 degrees so but yeah pretty little egg and some icicles look at the pretty little icicles hanging on there yeah we call that the summer house or the grow I call it the grow out pen that's when my littles grow out and um, I usually build a fenced in area over here and they can come out the little pot door in the summer and spring and all that. And they're fenced in so the big ones can't get a hold of them. And then, I don't know, I got a whole video on it, on what I do. But to uh, introduce them to the big chickens and get them all used to each other. 
All the chickens are out today. Um, I did lose a chicken the other day, last week. Had to put it down. Um, she was sick. And I've been watching the rest of them to make sure that nothing else is going on. And these guys, these guys are great. They're great. And they're loving the sun. I don't know if you can see up underneath the deck. They're right in the sun over there. Whew. I cannot see. I hope you guys can. Um, I've had a can of vegetables that I threw out here on the ground. They seem to have eaten everything but the carrots. Evidently, they got something against carrots. Let's see. Maybe they're eating them now. Nope. They're still out here. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's little pieces of carrot. They ate the corn, of course, and everything else that was in there, but it was just mixed veggies. So I was looking out here at my garden because I just want spring to come and see all the greenery. And I was looking at my um, my garlic bed and wondering how my garlic's doing. It's buried, but it's also got hay on top of it and stuff, so it should be okay. It's been really nice the past couple days. The sky has been gorgeous, the same color. I mean, it's just beautiful. And the sun is just beautiful. Feels good, it feels good, but um, I don't know if I said, uh, I think I said 30 before I came out and I was like, well, 30 is not bad, but the wind's blowing. Yeah. And this thermometer over here says like 42, 43. I'm like, no, I'd be sweating if that's the case. I don't think so. No. Oh, now it's gone down to 40. Oh, I see. It's adjusting now because I caught it in a lie. Anyway, I suppose the sun probably was shining on it and made it a little warmer. What are you guys up to? Following me? They said, yeah, you're the treat lady. Where's the treats? They get a path worn out from their little, all the way here, all to the back door. To the treat door, we call it. Oh yeah. By the way, this side of the woodshed, empty, well, Pretty much. There's some really big ones in there and there's some twiggy stuff in the back there that just some branches and stuff that little things that we're gonna probably burn in the fire pit at some point. But this side full well except for a few taken out and there'll be a few more because I do have to bring in firewood. I just haven't done it yet. <sighs> I'm putting it off. <laughs> but yeah we're doing really good on firewood and downstairs um, I put some in the basement. I don't know how many stacks I got down there. I've got one, two, three, probably three and a half stacks um, still down there. So we're not doing that bad on firewood at all. We're doing really good. We're getting ready to order another truckload so we can have that brought in probably next month, um, hopefully. Uh, where we normally put it. I don't know if we're going to be able to put it. I don't like it to be on the lawn because I it will kill the lawn being on it. But um, let's just go over. Oh, geez. Look at this girl. Look at her. How come the treat door is not opening? No, you don't need treats. God. Huh? There's the orange. There's the orange. I don't know, in previous posts, or previous uh, videos, we've shown all the logs out here. That's a big area that we can't really use right now. We cut the trees and their stumps and rocks, really big rocks and stuff. Eventually we may do something over there. I was thinking about putting an orchard in there. I want to put apple trees and all that. Um, I just don't know if we're going to clear it out first or I don't know what's going to happen. But um, anyway, so that's usually where we put it. Right now it's all obviously snow banks. By March, it'll still be snow banks probably. Wishful thinking that it wouldn't be. But anyway, where we park over here, um, there's some spots that we could probably put, like instead of Scott parking there, we could probably put the logs there somewhere up out of the way but um yeah 
So, I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna be having that delivered at some point. I don't even know if he's called to have it ordered yet, but we usually get the tree length, so they bring it up by the um, the big the truck load, and he uses the big grapple thing, picks it up and puts it all in a big old pile. If I think of it, I'll put a picture up. Um, I probably will. I don't know. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. But yeah, um, so that's that. I don't know. Firewood. We gotta be thinking about it. Start doing it when uh, when we get the chance. And if I suppose if we put it where the lawn usually is, we'll be able to get to it. Plus it would be less of a track because I usually, Scott cuts it over here. We grab it with the tractor bucket. We fill the tractor bucket up and then we truck it all the way where the lawn is. And I split it over there because it's flat and it's a lot easier. And the sun hits that spot and it, you know, when I throw it up in a pile after I split it, it gets nice and dry and the wind hits it good. And I don't know, there's many reasons. So anyway, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And we will catch you next time. Stay safe. Bye. Hey there, boys from the woods of Maine. We're out there working on farm again. We're laughing and we're working and we're carrying on